series of the day. It's going to be Navi versus OG. Bounty Rune's going to spawn. We are going to have OG trying to fight Blizzy away from this Bounty Rune. Blizzy will be able to outclick uh, Anna. And the Shadow Poisons are really racking up. They've got four stacks and a Battle Hunger now on Anna. Anna might actually die here. He has to juke that last Shadow Poison. It's so much damage. If you can get it to Dude, five, and he gets it to five, and Zyke is able to pick up the first blood. Ooh. Oh. Mid lane matchup. Magical has to try to round tops and underneath the tower, taking a lot of damage. The Fairy Fire will keep him alive. Oh, no! And he sprays loser. The disrespect. He's going to go back into the tower because, of course, like that's just what you have oh to do. Oh, my God. Reset the, the lane. Really want to play this position. Were they Not able to get the die, but a top lane. Blizzy almost dead here. No tail beating him down with the two levels of the Astral Sphere. And he's going to try and fight the Shatter Demon as well. Will obviously die, but gets a lot of damage out that maybe Anna might just be able to secure both bounty runes. Or is Ike just going to give up his life to be able to grab one of them at least? Yeah, he's got a streak, dude. Oh. He's not dying for it. He's gonna turn, start getting some shadow points. This is very bold of him. Anna, Dude, Anna's, he's actually gonna try and go it. for it. He's got a slight up in just one second. He's gonna pull the strike, but no, he can't get there in time. And that is a dominate streak. Well, Zayek, why did you do it? And Faith Boost is just dive mid lane again. Shadow Demon keeps on trying to prevent Thompson from taking this mid lane tower, but. Every single time, the two supports of OG, No Tail and Jerex, will rotate in, wrap around from behind, kill that Shadow Demon so he can't kill the creeps, and Litz Thompson just chip away at the Tier 1, and finally this is going to be the last round. They will be able to take him, but not before. We're going to have a fight, as they do manage to get the Rupture out onto Jerex. He's going to have to stop that roll and turn and fight as fast as possible. He knows he's dead, but the really good stop coming out from oh, No Tail. He's dead. Enough damage, and the Storm actually dies. Crystallize sees a bunch of low heroes, but now that Thompson is here, he can't actually go for the kill oh, on No Tail, boy. and he's going to slow down by the Flux. He will die there. Not only do they get the tower, but they win a huge fight. The only other way that you can do it is to go in through this offlane which is why people prioritize the offlane tower so much. Because it's the only other way into the jungle without getting spotted. Shattered Demon Disruption is going to be able to buy some time here for Blizzy. Is he going to turn and try and fight No Tail? They do manage to get a really good Fatal Bonds with some poison, but here comes Jairus rolling on in. There's going to be heal from the Warlock, but that close to the wall looks like he's just going to be controlled up pretty well. This slight of fist. He's hitting everybody. Now to jump back in. Jairus is able to knock around the supports and let Anna do all the heavy lifting here in damage. Gets the double kill while Sub picks up the other one. One kill on the Bloodseeker, and now the last tier one tower that's left, just go for it. At the very least, I think you should defend that area to the death if you're OG. As they're going to get into this mini fight. He's going to try and finish off the Shattered Demon for them. Does manage to get the chance with the Warlock. He drops the Golem, though, onto the three of them with the Fatal Bonds out. But Blizzy, he just can't get a hold of anybody. And they're slowly but surely pecking away at this Warlock and tries to hide in the trees. But Jerry's quick to swashbuckle him down. Now the Storm's here they're trying to grab somebody here, but he just can't get a hold on anybody. Blizzy going to have to call and rage but he knows there's nothing he can do. So this is going to be a game where Navi are just going to have to hold have to on, farm. by the skin of your teeth, just slowly concede tier two towers in exchange for getting more farm. Try not to bleed away too many kills. You lose this Shadow Demon, not that big of a deal. He's going to get bounced back. The thing about OG is that I think they love games like this, where they can just yeah. take over and run at you. But they are going to try and run back, though. They do have the Rupture onto Jarek, so that's going to be enough to finish him off. Storm here. It doesn't have a ton of mana right now, so it won't really be able to pursue for more, and Anna knows it, too. Creeps are just hitting your towers. That's Seb's like going to just control. fearlessly lead the way. He saw what happened last time they tried to go on him, so he's going to find the Blood Seeker, immediately manage to get a Rod of Atos on him. A call goes out, only managed to grab the two, doesn't grab the Enchantress, the Enchantress will finish off Crystallize. A jump around for Magical, is able to get at least the Pango kill, but it's going to cost Zyankin's life unless that disruption TP out. No, he doesn't make it. Two dead on the side of Navi with a buyback coming out from Jerex. That feels like OG have secured themselves the Roshan. 16,000 net worth lead. I, I like the, the point in pointing out the items because this is something that OG did very well. And he had to jump in. They are almost immediately blowing up Anna. Anna just stumbled into a world of hurt. And there goes his wicked six streak. But OG are not going to back down so easily. I'm they're going to keep it going, going here. Thompson blinking forward with his Tempest double, trying to find an easy kill onto the Shadow Demon. Doesn't actually get it. He's managed to get away. Seb. 
pulled back by Magical, trying to be saved by No-Tail. Does manage to get a stomp onto the Bloodseeker at least. He still has his rupture, so Seb is not going to be able to retreat, but maybe he can actually get the kill and crystallize. But there's the call from Blizzy, able to save out crystallize. The real Thompson has committed to kill crystallize, and now he's been caught. Disruption going down, upheaval, he's making sure twice. he's going nowhere. And he is certainly going to die twice. That is five Navi heroes all surrounding him. He's come back for his second life. They're also low. What happened? Oh, that was a close one. Axe. He's the only death there. Both Crystallize and Magical got dangerously low there. He's almost got Blink Dagger. That, that is a very dangerous item for OG. A Shadow Demon with Blink Dagger, the smoke. Magical's gonna be able to get some information with that. Uh, oh, the Tempest Double jumping forward. Crystallize is gonna be disrupted. Same with the Rod of Atos. But they do manage to get another one on the ropes. But what a jump in from Blizzy! The lockdown of both Seb as well as Anna gets that kill. No tail. He really tries three. to go for the stop. And look at I that goal. <laughs> he just rolled in for Na'Vi. <laughs> They really didn't have to do that dive at bottom. This no, should have been. No, they didn't. Thompson just jumping in with his Tempest double, trying to go for the fast kill onto Sineko. Sineko unable to protect oh. himself. And Crystal is actually being forced to use his BKB here as the real Thompson jumping forward. But the disruption managed to get it on the real one. Can the rest of his team turn for him? Blizzy makes the jump in, managed to get the call. The old Scepter protecting him, but Phil still managed to get the kill onto Thompson. A massive one at that. Well worth the cost of the all jukes. Warlock so far. And look at Blizzy. Juking around, Jerix's roll. This early of Butterfly, you don't have the stats to back up. You know, like, evasion. Call, missed. Jerix, now just gonna kite Blizzy on the other side of the river. Magical ends up dying, though. That is a rough one. They actually just have to get out of so. it. He's gonna be able to find a plus one, the Shadow Demon. BKB forced down from Crystallize as well. That's gonna get pretty low now. What is that, 7 6? Yeah, he's down to a 7 second BKB. Turns around, goes for the silence. <laughs> Sineko's warning him. Don't think about diving. I've got that Kehanic offering. They're still gonna go for it though. Crystallize is so low, and that is enough. Without the BKB, he can't protect himself against all that magic damage. Sineko turns around, drops the Golem. They're now gonna buy back on Magical. Trying to go for that fast kill on Anna. Unable to protect him with that magnetic field. Thompson trying to save his uh, carry, but not the case here. And a disruption coming out from Zayek as he loads up the poison. Jarek does manage to get a Lotus Orb out. The Shadow Demon is dead. He committed heavily to be able to try and kill the four position of OG. Now it's just left to Magical to try and clear out the creeps. They got off to such a bad leading start where they're obviously getting the solo kill and all that. Fast jump in from Anna with that Aghanim Scepter. Zayek looking for something, trying to get out the purge, but may just die before he gets anything cast out. It's a well-timed Rod of Atos into the stomp, prevents him from casting a single spell. Blizzy spotted oh, it as he runs it. into the sentries. A long jump in from Magical, but it really doesn't do that much damage. Is Thompson is still going to be okay? No, he's not. He tried to go for the TP out, doesn't actually make it. A long jump over, actually catches no tail as well. Great awareness from Magical. Another zip out with a TP away to the fountain. It's going to allow him to get away, but Crystallize won't be as lucky. It looks like he gets hexed up as his BKB fades. Every single time, just establishes himself as this super tanky hero that could be right there hitting the barracks. And they can't really commit to him. That's why the Storm Shirt is always going for that back line. Doesn't manage to find the real Thompson. He's going to be forced to pop the cheese. But now Magical. Oh no, he's used a little bit too much. He does have a bunch of stick charges though. One last jump. Gets him close to the bout, but not close enough. And uh, sees a weakness. And he's going to try and jump towards him. Finish him off. The Storm Spirit. He's low and he dies. The Golem doesn't get there in time to be able to bail him out. That's two minutes on the clock. Snako, he's going to die here as well. Doesn't even have his level 20. So no extra Golem for him on death. Fortunately, OG are quite slow at being able to hit buildings. But I have to imagine 90 seconds might just be a bit too much unless the Shatter Team can manage to get a kill off of this one. Seb, he gets quite low, but there's the Lotus Orb to remove some of the Shadow Poison stacks. Yules after Yules, but it's not enough. Another two minute timer. This time it's the Shatter Demon. Look at these. All right. All right, Blizzy. <laughs> I mean, what is he going to do, man? Oh, what are you going to do? And that's where you call it. You don't want to get farmed in the fountain anymore by Thompson, because that's exactly what he's going to do. No G. 
a little bit of a close call there. Is welcome back everybody. Game two of Navi versus OG. No, but he's, he's making it OP. Day, 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 oh, yeah. Jax is gonna go for the toss. There he goes, right into the tower day, range. Day, Doesn't actually day, get any mother. tower damage, but they might still be able to kill him. Magical realizing this is just gonna turn a fight underneath the Nether Toxins. Like God. That wasn't even worth it for the experience aspect. I'm still a full level and some change behind Thompson. But if Thompson dies, it'll be all worth it for the mass TPs. Jairus going to toss away the Viper, trying to save Thompson's life. Thompson, a high ground hit, will manage to get it. Magical claims the kill. He'll die. It'll be a two-for-one trade-off. But I'm sure Magical is at least feeling himself a little bit more than he was before. He got some vengeance for his rough laning phase. Seneco is... Very, very dead. And possibly, it might be able to get Blizzy as well. Sineko gonna be chased down. Toss Avalanche oh, combo. Blizzy actually are already using the press the attack. And now doesn't have a way to protect himself as he could silence up with Inkswell stun going down. Chain stun. Zyne's actually gonna be able to come in. Crystallize here to save the day. It's gonna swing and hit Jarek trying to get the cleave damage. They do manage to get the duel onto Jarek. They'll win that one, but a beautiful toss at the last second from Jarek. Right as he was about to get dueled. Jarex tries real hard to pull the uh, damage off the tower, but they do manage to get the entrance. The smoke doesn't quite go their way, though. The immediate silence onto the... Uh, they're going to save him long enough to be able to get the duel. Looks like it. The duel goes out, that should be a win for Blizzy. Maybe they're going to be able to catch him as well. The Primal Roar actually going down right as he gets bonked on the head and rooted up. But they don't have any follow-up disables. Now the Spectre actually popping his ultimate to be able to help get the kill on a Magical. We'll jump over to where Blizzy's at. Gets away from the tree, just gonna go to this bottom half of the map. So I did decide to go for the Necro 3, I think mainly because he is against the Zyx heading out for it, they do manage to get the duel, what a big one! Thompson, way too close to the tier 2 tower, and a simple blink after a TP is able to find that kill. Now Crystallize, going for no tail, trying to kill him before the ink swell pops, and surely he does. He's into the lane. This could be like, a really big cool. Anna is going to get dueled up, and Magical is there with the Nether Toxin as well as Rod of Atos to follow it up. Again, they don't need the dual kill on some of these big cores that they're getting between Thompson and Anna. They're still willing to play really aggressive in the mid game. Just because they have the late game doesn't mean they want to go late game, but it's always that like, backup option. Yeah. Dying trying to get in position there for the overgrowth. He's going to be saved by Sleech oh, Commander. Now the two man set up with the overgrowth over the top. The Ancient Apparition Ice Blast nails both of them. No tail. May take out his seven. It's definitely dead. And sure enough, he does tick. But Crystallize is super low and tops him. Only needs one big swing. And uh, he's actually going to come back into the fight with the Haunt. Magical's quite low as well. Wanted to be able to stay around his Nether Toxin. But Thompson won't allow it. He'll just kite him around until the Lightning Bolt finishes him off priority targets, plus uh, this man dying in that position where Anna was the direct recipient of that as mid lane. Magical is going to be Primal Ward here. The TP is coming in for the Ancient Apparition. Magical is just not tanky enough. He will end up dying. Blizzy spotted by the Thunderbolts as well. Not going to be able to blink right away. Shouldn't be any danger. Smoke up from OG as they are going to have set the way. Thunder God's Wrath finds his opening, fling forward. He nearly tries to stun up Crystallize. He's going to be saved by Blizzy, though. Press the attack, taking him away from that stun, so they're just going to have to leave their Ancient Apparition behind. That was a lot of ulties, though. Yes. If Fe you're Navi, you're looking to uh, engage off of this. But OG, they don't feel too terrible, because now they've got another card up their sleeve that is going to be the Nimbus available for Thompson. Something they should run out. I think you're trying to go uh, for the fast duel onto Anna, but a double Yule! That's gonna slow things down incredibly. Crystallize throws out the stun, activates the BKB, trying to finish up the Spectre, and does manage to get him. But many of the Nami members are quite low. As you can see, Blizzy as well as Magical is just stuck as Thompson keeps on beating him down, but Crystallize chased away Thompson. He's able to get him, and look at Magical just healing up now. Jarex is unable to finish him up with his combo, and you called it. You said Nami is gonna look for the fight. It's and whispering to you, Crystallize. And take it. The Nimbus is gone now. Hold your destiny in your hands. Play for the win here, Navi. All right, he's going to activate the God Strength and just go for it. OG, oh, are they going to wise up to this? They're going to throw the Nimbus over there. They finally do, but it may be a little bit too late. It's at 3,500 HP, and OG oh, are trying to get there fast enough, but it doesn't look like it. It's going to fall. Zion is already positioning himself to try and find some sort of pickoff off of getting that. They're going to be able to go for the Tiny. 
They have the duels to be able to follow it up. Blizzy managed to lock him down. The Ice Blast is on its way. It's actually going to go a little bit farther. It's going to hit Anna oh, because they got the hands done. Coming out from the spin and Anna way too close to that engagement. And that'll be a melee barracks. Possibly more here. Na'Vi really going to see if they can force OG to buy back or maybe try and do some half-hearted defense that leads into the kills. Double Primal Roar, but immediately jump forward from Zion since able to get the overgrowth. An ink swell on Jerry's is going to try and jump in and continue this chain stunning, but they really just don't have any damage to back it up. The supports are going to fall gears. Crystallize using his VKB to finish mob. Blinks back to the safety. They're still going to go for this around the melee barracks, but Thompson is up in five seconds. Have Na'Vi stuck around a little bit too long because now they can't get away too easily but unless they go in and actually kill out the Spectre and they're going to be able to get the duel on it, it looks like that is going to be enough. Spectre immediately buying back though, haunting in, wants to be able to find some extra kills. Magical, he's going to be left to slow down the rest of OG. He's saying me and Zions will hold OG back while the rest of you get away. But because he has the level 20 talent, the poison attack affecting the tower since the beginning. Oh, that was the BKB pop. Trying to get the Ice Blast in the BKB duel, but... Well, this is kind of gem. He yeah. cannot afford a die Oh, here. but Crystallize managed to make the entrance, but it's only going to be the Grim Stroke that they find with that jump. They activate a BKB, and what OG wants here is just a kite. They've lost the Grim Stroke, but they get out. being heavily used here. They can go back in as soon as they fade out, and that's exactly what they were trying to do, but unfortunately caught inside the river, the Spectre. That is such a right weird position. There. That is definitely weird. That is OG overstretching their hand, trying too hard to catch people. Yeah, they were going for some sort of weird lock-off play as... And look at Jerex, he's doing the same thing here, trying so hard to be able to catch somebody. He's now going to get Ice Blasted, jump forward from the Viper. He spotted Thompson, gets the Nether Toxin on him with the duel as well. That's going to be another buyback coming out from OG. Is Jerex going to fall as well? A third buyback already in this fight. And Na'Vi, they have yet to use a hero. They do have the Spectre, though, with that Ink Swell. Stunning up, he's going to be able to get the Ancient Apparition. That's Gem on the deck as well with the tree. He can't make it up that cliff. That doesn't work anymore so he's going to die as well, but no core's dead yet. He's going to be able to Manta take off that Rod of Atos. They make their way back. They're trying to catch Crystallize right now, and they spotted him. Jarex managed to get him with the Blink combo. Stall him up as best as possible. Wait until your cores get here. They have the damage. And it looks like a clean retreat from OG. I feel like Blizzy failed to get the duel, and if anything, Anna's going to go for it a little bit more. The Primal Roar does manage to get onto Blizzy. He slowed down, though. Anna trying to make his way over there, but they have Jarex be able to get the combo onto Blizzy. He's down to half health. The AoE press the attack. It's not going to be enough to save, but oh, what a stun from Crystal Eyes hitting onto three, and he rips Anna apart. That is just the Thompson. But Thompson, he doesn't have a second life to work with, and they still have the God Drink, and they have a little bit of control as well. A lot of bit of control. It's a Rod of Atos holding him in place. The toss away. The he has the stun, though. The Ice Blast to follow it up. Can Jerry do it again? No blink up for three seconds. Anna, if he dies here, this is going to be the game for OG Insurance. Enough, it is. They both die. Both Thompson and Anna, the carries of OG, both die. I mean, somehow they're gonna have to do this three on five. The creep wave is already there, so there's no creep cutting tactics. Is trying to get the soul bind for staff down to low ground, just buy some time. Hope they separate. Hope Jerex is able to find an opportunity for a pick off here. And he's just gonna try and cut the creep wave. That's what he was going for, but immediately gets stunned up. Into the ice blast, into a duel. 178 bonus damage. That is what Legion Commander's gonna end with here, unless Jarek can stall things. There's no way. OG. They call it here. The series is gonna end one to one. Navi get their revenge after a rough game one. Come back.